Hello everybody, I hope all of you are having a great day so far. Here's your Fort Stimulus Check update and news report. But all kidding aside, the good news is we forget the bad times. That's the good thing about we Americans. We're always optimistic. But 10 months, 10 months ago, we were in trouble. When I was sworn in, there were 10 million fewer jobs in America. And a lot here in and if you believe that our politicians in Congress should send out a Fort Stimulus check, let's get this video to 1,000 likes. Now on July 15th, the IRS will start sending out the monthly child tax credit payments to every eligible American parent. And right now, everybody, the IRS is urging people to share information about the child tax credit to those who do not have a permanent address. By doing so, you'll be make sure that eligible people receive the payments that they're eligible for. You can share the information about the portals with them so they know about the programs to help them file a tax turn. According to the IRS, roughly 39 million households in the United States will automatically get these payments through direct deposit, paper check, or debit cards. The tax credit isn't anything new though. It is a tax credit that Americans get as part of the tax refund in the spring. And for me, Tri-C is one of those places. Just a little over a year ago, March 10, 2020, and 2020, I came to Cleveland as a candidate running for president to rally, hold a rally here at the community college. Upon unloading, uh, we got word that Governor DeWine, uh, he did the right thing, wanted large indoor events. But as part of the American Rescue Plan, instead of getting the credit during your tax refund, parents will soon see a monthly payment. Parents with dependents under the age of six would see a monthly payment of up to $300. And if the dependent is over the age of six, the payments are up to $250. To qualify, individual taxpayers will need to make $75,000 or less. For a married couple filing jointly, the AGI is $150,000 or less. And data from the US Census Bureau shows the majority of stimulus money is still being spent on basic necessities, including food, rent, mortgage payments, and utilities. At the same time, a new report reveals that more than 1 million stimulus checks have gone unspent. It's an extraordinary record. And we understand that before Social Security, 50% of seniors in this country were living in poverty. And today, because of Social Security, 10% are living in poverty. And also, frankly, we are getting very tired about hearing our Republican and right-wing friends telling us about how Social Security is collapsing when the reality is Social Security today has a surplus of $2.6 trillion Social Security can pay out every benefit. Iris data obtained by the Boston Herald shows that 1.24 million stimulus checks from last year's stimulus package were never cashed. And when asked about whether Biden would back a fourth stimulus check, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said, we will see what members of Congress propose. But we do know this, a large amount of lawmakers in Congress want to pass more stimulus relief for the American people. House Representative Pramila Jayapal and Rashida Tlaib have reintroduced the automatic boost to Communities Act legislation. And the bill would immediately provide a $2,000 payment to every person in America as critical relief during the crisis, followed by $1,000 recurring monthly payments throughout the ongoing crisis. In New Hampshire and in Vermont and all over this country, we got millions of seniors who are trying to survive on $12,000, $13,000, dollars a year of Social Security. That's it. It's their whole source of income. You tell me. Tell me if you're 80, 85 years of age, how you survive on $12,000 a year. How do you buy the food that you need? How do you heat your home? How do you buy the medicine and the health care that you need on $12,000, $13,000 a year? It is called the ABC Act, and it will be funded directly from the Treasury with no additional debt issued by minting two $1 trillion coins and additional coins is necessary. Trillion dollars, they have now decided that they want to balance the budget on the backs of the elderly and the children and the most vulnerable people in this country. They want to cut Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. My view, and we've introduced legislation to do this, is that not only are we going to stop them cutting Social Security, we are going to expand Social Security. And Republican Sanders folks plan to announce a new counteroffer on infrastructure spending on Thursday. That is after the White House last week unveiled a slimmed-down alternative to President Biden's original massive proposal. 
I just want to take this opportunity to congratulate Social Security Works for all of their efforts in making sure that we are not going to cut Social Security, and in fact, we're going to expand benefits for the millions of people who desperately need it. Let's say you got your stimulus check based on your 2019 tax turns. But then you filed a 2020 tax turn after you got your check. Based on your earnings, you could get more money because your income dropped. For example, people are eligible for plus of payments if they made less money in 2020 than 2019. Fast Company reports that the IRS will send you an extra payment once it knows about your income changes. The Washington Post also reports that Congress added the plus of payments to make sure that the IRS could deal with backlog of tax turns amid the crisis. According to the Washington Post, aware of the backlog of the IRS, Congress gave the agency the ability during the stimulus relief round to circle back and essentially top off people who were shortchanged because the tax situation changed in 2020. And members of a powerful congressional committee are calling for additional rounds of economic relief from the federal government for families still struggling during the crisis. The third round of stimulus relief squeaked through Congress thanks to a budget loophole when it failed to find bipartisan support. Since that time, numerous Republican governors have refused federal unemployment insurance benefits, arguing they encourage people to stay at home and collect money instead of getting back to work. Fortunately, lawmakers can use the budget reconciliation process again to pass more relief payments. And when asked about stimulus checks earlier this month, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said, We will see what members of Congress propose. Now the government has already issued three direct payments since the beginning of the crisis. In the latest round of stimulus checks, the US government said it sent roughly 159 million, 159 million direct payments to households, with a total value of $376 billion. Now folks, that is all the news in this video. If you guys found this video useful and helpful, don't forget, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. CEOs used to get paid 35, 36 times to the average employee, and they should get paid. Now it's over 370 times more than the average employee. As my mother would say, who died and left them boss? <laughs> well, I'm serious about it. Now, so you got over 50 percent going to stock buybacks. And the other percent, I think it's 42 uh, percent. Let me see, 56. It's 40. Uh, no, it's 38 percent goes to um, dividends, which is reasonable. But here's the point. After all is said and done, that leaves 8% of that trillion dollars for research and development, salaries, new product, new enterprises, new initiatives, 8%. I come from the corporate capital of the world, literally. More corporations are incorporated in the state of Delaware than any place in America. Combined, all the rest of the corporate uh, registrations combined don't equal what's in my state. 